The M1A2 Abrams main battle tank is a further development of the M1A1. Currently it is one of the best MBTs in the world. Development of improved M1A1 began in 1988. About 1200 to 1500 M1A2 main battle tanks were delivered to the US Army. Out of this number approximately 1000 outdated M1 main battle tanks were upgraded to the M1A2 standard. It is planned that this tank will remain in service beyond 2050. The M1A2 has been exported to Kuwait, 218, and Saudi Arabia, 457. The Abrams is protected by Chabam composite armor. Protection of the M1A2 was improved by using depleted uranium mesh at the front of the hull and turret. It offers significant protection against all known anti-tank weapons, however overall weight increased comparing with the M1A1. Protection of the M1A2 Abrams is considered as one of the best in the world. All active service M1A1 tanks have been retrofitted with depleted uranium armor. M1A2 tanks supplied to Kuwait and possibly Saudi Arabia have downgraded armor without depleted uranium layers. Ammunition for the main gun is stored in the turret bustle, fitted with blowout panels. Interior is lined with Kevlar liner for protection against spalling. The M1A2 Abrams can be fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks. Some M1A2 tanks are equipped with missile countermeasure devices, intended to detect and jam guidance of the laser-guided missiles. Vehicle is armed with the M256 120mm smoothbore gun, originally developed by Rain Metal and manufactured under license in USA. This gun is loaded manually. Such gun loading system is more reliable than autoloaders used on some other tanks. The M1A2 has an improved fire control system and its components. Range of effective fire in excess of 4 kilometers. The M1A2 has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer capability. Many tanks produced in the early 90s lack this capability. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7. 62mm machine gun, another 7.62mm machine gun mounted over the gunner's hatch and 12.7mm machine gun mounted over commander's hatch. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The M1A2 Abrams is powered by Afco Lycoming, now Honeywell, AGT-1500 gas turbine engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. Essentially it is a modified helicopter engine, adapted for use on tanks. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on any grade of petrol, diesel, aviation fuel or kerosene. This engine has impressive performance and is compact for its power output. So even though the Abrams tank is heavy and bulky, it is surprisingly agile. It is faster than many other tanks and has superior cross-country performance. Also, the engine is remarkably quiet. Due to this feature the Abrams is even nicknamed the Whispering Death. Its gas turbine engine has servicing intervals significantly longer than those of diesel engines, however is troublesome to maintain and has very high fuel consumption comparing with diesels. Engine can be replaced in field conditions within 30 minutes. This main battle tank can be airlifted by a C-5 Galaxy or C-17 Globemaster III military transport aircraft. M1A2 SAP, or System Enhancement Program, variant. It is a successor to the M1A2. It has improved armor protection, improved system components, improved computer components, and some other improvements. The SAP V2, version 2, is fitted with remotely operated weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. First M1A2 SAP tank was delivered to the US Army in 1999. There are at least 900 M1A2 SAP tanks in service. 240 of them were newly built. The over were upgraded to this standard from the M1, M1A1, and M1A2 tanks. M1A2T is an export version for Taiwan. Taiwan ordered a number of these MBTs. First two M1A2T tanks were delivered to Taiwan in 2022. Tank Urban Survival Kit, Tusk, was developed for the Abrams series tanks to improve their survivability in urban environment. Once kit is applied the tank has improved protection, firepower and situational awareness. The tusk can be applied by the units in field conditions.